welcome back to my channel. I'm Auntie Tay. If you guys are new here, that's who I am. If you're not, welcome back. Today we are going to be using one of our Winnie the Pooh SVGs with some vinyl and a really cute frame and sprucing it up a little bit. So if you need this SVG, it is available on AuntieTay.com for my members. We have tons of other Disney inspired SVGs over there, so you should check it out. All right, let's get going. To get this file, you'll need to be a member of antitag.com and you can find out more about our membership on my website or I have videos on YouTube as well explaining what it is. But I'm gonna go over to SVGs, click on Disney, then go right to the classic characters page where we are going to find Winnie the Pooh and we have a lot of other classic character bundles as well and all of these are commercial use rights if you're a business member so you can sell with these. So we're gonna click the Oh Bother bundle and it will download directly to your computer into a zipped file. So we'll need to unzip that file before we upload it to Design Space or anything that we are using to cut this and just double click it. You can search your files by typing oh bother. I sometimes like to right click and click open to find the bundle as well. So once it's open, you can upload it. We're gonna use Cricut Design Space today and I'm just going to find it and open it. The nice thing about our SVGs is they upload super fast because they are cut files instead of PNGs or JPEGs. And we also love to bundle them so that you can make more than one Winnie the Pooh or character project at a time. So the way I like to use our bundle is to ungroup it and delete any of the parts that I'm not gonna use. But now the entire bundle is uploaded so I can always go back and use it later. It's like you uploaded eight or nine designs all at once. So we're gonna just stick with this one and move forward on the project. Okay, I used the silhouette to cut this one and I loved it. Um, I'm using our 10 by 10 frames that are available on shopantitay.com and I'm using black Oracle vinyl in 631 indoor vinyl for this. Now this is a very, detailed small design the smaller you cut this the more detailed it's going to be so i'm just going to work my way very slowly slowly picking up any pieces that um are pulling up and just using my weeding tool to kind of guide the vinyl in a straight line once i get all of it off if there's any mistakes i will clean those up and then i will go in and get all the little pieces out later i like to keep all the pieces together so that i can just use them later to help pick up little pieces then i'm going to use my transfer tape i am using our uh, masking transfer tape that you can get on shopantitay.com by far one of our best selling products and it comes in multiple sizes but this is the six inch by a hundred foot roll and it will last you so long another tip is to flip your mat over and I found using the silhouette mat for this worked amazing because it's so flexible that I could literally peel it almost 90 degrees or 180 degrees backwards now our transfer tape is not super sticky which can kind of be difficult on this section but it makes up for it on the next type or the next part of the project so the way i like to get it off is flip it completely over and peel the backing off at this 180 degree um angle by pushing the vinyl back onto the transfer tape as I pull it off. Sometimes I will rock back and forth. If I see letters are starting to come up, I will just slowly put them back on the transfer tape and begin again from where I left off, but I will rock kind of left and right just to make sure that I can um, not pull any more letters off. And then once it's off, I will um, put it directly onto my project. And this is where our transfer tape is amazing. It doesn't need very much pressure because it doesn't stick a ton to your vinyl. And this is why everybody loves this transfer tape so much is because it. Um, this is where most people struggle by getting their project to withhold the design if it's got wood grain or anything. Sometimes it can be difficult. And if you see any little mess up I'll fix those afterwards. I guess I'm doing this one now. Okay, so then I'm also going to do this one 
Um, and these are both Winnie the Pooh quotes, and I believe both of these are in two different bundles, so you would need the other bundle as well to do this one. Um, I guess I didn't film me fixing the little piece of W on that vinyl, but I usually will go in with my um, weeding tool and just make sure I fix any little hiccups, so you can do that. Okay, I'm using flowers that I got at Joann's and a piece of burlap to just kind of tie a little bow around this little bundle, and then I'm gonna hot glue it onto the bottom of the frame. If you'd like to see the rest of our frames, I'm gonna be featuring the entire wall. I did show you guys how I hung my gallery wall, um, but I'm gonna be showing you guys the entire wall reveal when I'm done with all these signs. All right, love you guys, bye. Stay.